Hello and welcome to episode 17 of Being Effective with Upnote, a YouTube series all about how to make the most of Upnote, which is a note-taking app. Uh, this week we're thinking about using Upnote as a companion to your Read It Later app, or how to use Upnote to maximise your effectiveness with your notes and highlights from journal articles, blog posts, and all kinds of things like that that you read online. Before we dive into how to use Upnote for this, uh, I want to talk about Read It Later apps for a, for a moment. These are brilliant applications. They enable you to read things later. So you clip articles either from uh, websites or you can forward emails to them. And the articles that you get are stored in this application so you can read them later. And it means that you don't have to have all of these things stored in your email inbox. You don't have to have tasks in your task manager reminding you to read things. It's all there in your Read It Later app and you can highlight the articles as you go and you can take notes on them as well. Now there are loads of Read It Later apps out there. Uh, the main two that everybody has heard about, um, well there are three that everyone's heard about. Uh, there's Pocket, there's Instapaper and then there's an app called Readwise. These are the, the most popular three. Personally I use an app called Raindrop.io. Now the reason why I use Raindrop is because its free plan is packed with features that I use. You can take as many highlights as you want the articles that you read on Raindrop's free plan. And that for me is the thing that I want to do most. I don't take a lot of notes on articles and things within the Read It Later app itself, but I do highlight things a lot. With Pocket, with Instapaper, you have to pay to have, I think it's more than something like five highlights, whereas Raindrop it's free. Now, Readwise uh, is very popular. Readwise is an app that it, it automatically syncs your notes and your highlights into your note-taking application, whether that's something like Notion or Evernote. I think you can even do it with Obsidian. So you take the highlight, you take the note, it automatically syncs it into your note-taking app. There's a few reasons why I don't use Readwise. Now, obviously, um, Upnote doesn't have an integration with Readwise, so that, that wouldn't work. But even if it did, I'd be nervous. Readwise for me is incredibly expensive for this kind of application. It's $7.99 a month, and that's pretty pricey when you can do similar stuff for free. And I also personally have an issue with the automation side of things. Now, there are many people who I respect who, who swear by this automation, and therefore I don't want to knock it. And it may well be that this would be brilliant for you. For me, it won't be because I know that for me, the notes would get sent across to my note-taking app and they would just be lost forever in the ether of my system, never to be seen again. So personally, at the moment, I prefer to do it manually because at least that means I have to review what I'm sending into my notes app. And it reminds me of things that I want to remember and possibly take a few extra notes on them when I do that. Now, as I said, Upnote doesn't have any kind of integrations that are built in, so you have to do this manually. You can't integrate it with any of your Read It Later apps, but it isn't difficult and it isn't time consuming. So what we're going to do now is we're going to dive in and I'm going to take you through a worked example of how I take notes on a post and how I import that into Upnote. So for the purposes of this, I've come to one of the fav my favourite blogs, uh, which is Carl Pauline's blog. And here is a blog post, Productivity 101, the benefits of a daily reading list. Now I could, if I wanted to, read this post in the web browser, but I'm not going to do that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clip it to Raindrop. Now that's this little extension up here. And if I clip that, it brings up this box. I'm going to send this one into my inbox just for now. So if I go into Raindrop, just refresh that. Here's the article in my inbox. Now, normally I would read articles on my phone or on my tablet while I'm on the go. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to do it in their web app, which is just in the in my web browser. So, so if I click, in order to read it on the web app, um, if you click this button, it'll just take you to the article again. Go to the link. If you click this button, it'll bring up the reader. 
uh, and let's just maximize that and go to the preview version. This is the version that is most similar to what you would see in the phone. And I'm not actually going to read this live in the video. All I'm going to do is just make a few highlights just so you can see how it works. So I'm going to select this because I think that's relevant. Accumulating reading material is very easy, but the difficulty is finding time to read it all. And you can choose which color you want to highlight it. I just tend to stick with the basic yellow that has been highlighted. Um, let's find just a few other things to highlight as we go through and there lies the solution. Having time each day, collecting this stuff is easy, finding the time to read it is the area that needs a solution. We're going to highlight that as well and then let's just scroll down. Uh, ooh, I, I do like reading just before I go to bed so uh, for about half an hour actually so Carl and I are very similar on that and I'm going to highlight that as well. Uh, I am listening to audiobooks at the moment quite a lot, so I wouldn't necessarily highlight the article like this as I read it, but for the purposes of this video, I am just highlighting a few things that I spot as I scan through. Um, I've got three highlights down there already. Let's get a fourth one. Better to start or end the day with a book. Yes, that is good. I'm going to get that in there as well. Build it into your day as part of your morning yeah, so I've got five highlights there and that is what I'm going to do for that. So I did just want to show you this on a mobile as well. So this is my own personal website, effectivefaith.org. It's going to share this straight into Raindrop, into my inbox, save it. And there it is. Let's go into Raindrop. And this is what it would look like reading it within Raindrop on my phone. Uh, let's just get rid of that. And I'm just going to take a couple of highlights on here. Highlight that in yellow. Uh, and then let's just highlight that one as well. Perfect. And you'll see down here at the bottom uh, of the screen, that little highlighter icon with the the two bubble notification on it, that just is where all of my highlights are kept. And if I went back onto the web browser and the web app, I would be able to export those highlights and copy them into Upnote. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. And I'm going to show you what I do with these to get them into Upnote. Now, I've got my demo account open here. Now, Within the web app, and uh, it's easiest to do this in the web app after you've read the article, it lists all of your highlights down here, and there are a few things you can do. You can export your highlights as a text or a CSV. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy them to the clipboard. Now, there are two things that you can do right now. My favorite and preferred one is just to go into UpNote, uh, create a new note, and then I'll just call it this for now. And then you can just literally paste those highlights in. It gives you the article title, the link to it, and then just lists as bullet points underneath the highlights that you've made. And there you have it. It is in Upnote. It's in your note-taking app of choice. Uh, there is another way of getting it in. So for the purposes of this, I'm going to just delete this note that I've made. But I'm going to go back to that article in Raindrop and I'm going to copy it to the clipboard again. And I'm going to use Upnote's global paste to Upnote keyboard shortcut, which is on a Mac, Command, Control, Option and V. And on Windows, it's Control, Shift, Alt and V. So I'm going to press Command, Control, Option and V. And what that is going to do is it is going to paste what I've just copied to my clipboard directly into a new note in UpNote. That's a quicker way of doing it than navigating back into the app and pasting it yourself. And it works. And so there you have it, Productivity 101, The Benefits of a Daily Reading List by Carl Pauline, linked to the article. And these are my highlights that are now in my app. And because I've done it manually, I can glance through them at the moment. And if I want to 
highlight anything in particular within UpNote that I find particularly applicable, then I can do that in any way I want to. So there you have it. That is how I use UpNote as a companion to my Read It Later app. Check it out. Do it yourself. Try it yourself. If you've liked this video and found it valuable, then please like this video using the like button below. Subscribe to the Effective Faith YouTube channel. There's loads more to come. And why don't you check out the other videos about UpNote that are showing up on the screen now. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next video.